Hi, everybody, and welcome to Sabi's Mine. Finally, we make it to Sabi's here in Columbiana, not too far from the Firestone Farms area and all that nice. good stuff on uh, Route 7, just south of North Lima a little bit. And our hosts are here, Sebastian Homechick and Kristen Clayton Homechick, who own the joint. You guys. I have to say, my family and I, we've been here a couple of weeks ago. We almost ordered everything on the menu because <laughs> everything on the menu, even if you've heard of a chicken sandwich, it's like you've never mm -hmm. seen or like the description of a chicken sandwich like this is above and beyond. So like on a personal note, you guys had no idea who we who we were until we called. And said, can, we, can we please come? It's the crazy chicken people. Right. It's the crazy chicken people. Right. But uh, I have to say, like hats off, my daughter. You know, people that watch our show, they know that she she loves to eat, and we just kept on ordering, and she just kept on going, and everything was just great. She tells all of her little friends, Thank "This you. is better Thank than Chick Fil A." Uh, that's oh, there you go. Okay. That's, the says, right. that's, right. that's the bar. All right. That's the bar. Better well, than Chick Fil A. Talk about the restaurant for a little bit. First of all, Sabi is short for. Sebastian. And Sebastian is right here. So I, I, maybe I'm the only one, but you said I wasn't. When you drive by and you see Sabi's, you think, oh, it's Mediterranean food or something like that. You probably get that all the time. We do. We get that in Japanese. I don't know if it's the wasabi uh, uh -huh. connection there, but we do. But we are a modern American restaurant. Yes, and it's so good. So how long has it been open? We opened officially on July 5th. Um, we opened a few weeks before that and did a little police and fire EMT um, kind of pre-opening celebration. Mm -hmm. um, but we've been here since July 5th now. And you guys have been doing this as a husband and wife team for some time. This is not your first restaurant. This is not the first time that you guys have teamed up to bring amazing quality dishes to the Valley, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. You guys, how, how we you worked been? together for quite a while. Yeah. Coming off 20, 20 years. Over 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> In the restaurant industry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. started up at the craft company. That's uh -huh. where we met. And uh -huh. Fell in love. Yeah. Wow. wow. Cheers Fell to Sally and the whole crew out there. <laughs> it is so romantic there, huh? Do you want to take us through some of the selections you've uh, put in front of us? Why don't we start up front? Because okay. this is just like it, the levels of gorgeousness and flavor. It's got so much stuff to it. So go ahead, Sebastian. Enough to Yompton. Yompton. Like straight out of Compton, yeah, but this is. This is for Northeast Ohio. Yompton. 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 Okay, so what's in it? Uh, Saute greens. Uh huh. Uh, sausage stuffed peppers with our blue cheese cream sauce. A tomato jam, which we make here. We're actually going to start selling that at the Harvey's Market. Oh, this nice. This weekend. Oh, yeah, just down the road. Yeah, uh, okay. Baked burrata and uh, basil pesto and grilled bread. A it's winner. so good. It's, it's, it's a winner. So good. It's a winner. All right, go into your chicken sandwich. So, so the one that Fred fell in love with when he, when he Does came. Does this have a name? Butter, butter, uh, hot chick. The hot chick. Oh. It's a buttermilk marinated chicken breast with pepper jack cheese. Hot and spicy pickles and a comeback sauce. On Come a, on back. On a brioche bun. <laughs> comeback sauce. We asked about the sauce, but it's a secret. It's yes, a that's right. Secret. How about this one? Now, this, I have so much stuff in it. This is gnocchi, right? It is. Uh, this one is named after my son, a Dante. It is uh -huh. the Dante's Oasis. Uh -huh. uh, we have jumbo shrimp, spinach, bacon, um, our homemade gnocchi, and I also have some red Mark's onion in there, uh -huh. and lots of garlic and olive oil as well. This is, this is the, the part of the show where you talk. <laughs> and, and, and we right. <laughs> And Mike, you already sort of, um, mm -hmm. you, were, you were trying to hide the facts. This. Go ahead. Mike already got into the 7 and 14. I but did. Obviously, we're on the corner of 7 and 14. That's where that name came from. Uh -huh. um, it is uh, hand-breaded chicken with prosciutto, portobello mushrooms, fresh mozzarella cheese, over mashed potatoes, and it's all smothered in a Marcella wine sauce. Very good. And she gave us a little bit, uh, a little insight. Kristen, you've never had French onion I've soup. I've never had French onion soup. I might try it. I might try it later today. That might be my lunch. It looks good. Doesn't <laughs> it, it is. It is. We top it with crispy fried onion, so it's a little different than where you get elsewhere. You guys, right. cheers to you guys. Yeah, thank I know you. it's just been a couple of short months, but I think you guys are well on your way to many years of success out here. Thank so you. stick with good us. Job. Okay. Yeah, stay here. We've got lots to come on Valley Spotlight. And Mike, you introduced us to our friends at Voices for Autism. Scott and the gang. Yes. And this time they're teaming up with somebody else that we know pretty well from years back. <laughs> Wait till you see the special performance thanks to Chris Higby. Scott Ostalosh and his daughter Sophia continue to take steps and tap their toes for our special needs community. And on this particular day, the sound of music was center stage, but not just any music. Well, today we have, uh, we're at Ray Arc, uh, the Carousel Center, owned by Ray Arc Industries in Austin Town, Ohio. And we are going, we have a special guest today, Chris Higby and his son, Alex Higby. 
and they're here performing on behalf of Voices for Autism, our foundation, to the clients here. And it gives them a chance to experience a live concert. And, uh, and then we can also manipulate the sounds and kind of keep it quiet in case anybody has any sensory issues and that type of thing as well. So it's, it's a nice controlled environment. The Voices for Autism team used its voice to grab the attention of a voice that is famous in the Valley. Chris Higby, the one and only Fiddler on the Roof, came down to ground level for a very special performance. So uh, I, I like to do uh, charity work. Uh, I like to come in and play. My son and I learn Christmas songs and we go around to uh, nursing homes and stuff in, in, in the winter, you know, so we always try to get out and do stuff like this. And it's neat because you don't have the lights and the speakers and the pressure, right? It's just go up and perform and have fun and entertain. And that's why I got into the industry because I love to make people smile. So. While Scott took over the keyboard, the reaction to Chris and his son Alex's performance could be felt throughout the room. Everyone is included, and that's part of the magic. And that's why we're doing things like this, because people like Sophia uh, just want to be involved. They want to be included, and sometimes they're not. And this gives us a chance to help them be included, and, uh, and, and she loves doing this. You know, so it's like her, she, this is her thing today. And even though this isn't a huge crowd, the huge connection is worth every note for Chris. I love playing the big stadium shows. I love the mass amounts of people. But when I play, I f even when I play in front of tens of thousands of people, I usually focus on like 10 or 20 people that are really engaged and they're singing my songs back to me. So. I can get that really personal connection with, with the, the crowd in general. And I scan and I look and I people watch. It's really fun to people watch at concerts. And you're like, oh, okay, we're gonna, you know. <laughs> so, but when you play something like this where it's a smaller crowd and it's very individual, you can really connect with everybody, you know, and, and grab people's attention and, oh, they like, they like this kind of song. Okay, guys, we're gonna switch the set list and we're gonna go for this and we're gonna go for that. So it's a very fluid situation. The situation at the Carousel Center is always revolving, evolving, and innovating for the sake of this unique community. Cats out of the bag. This is going to be the first location for the first calming room in the world with printed electronics for people with autism and, uh, and special needs. And we have several people involved in the project, and one of them is Genevieve Goings from Disney Junior and she's doing huge things right now with Disney, so she'll be, she's producing the entire music wall. We're doing two walls, we're doing a calming room and then we're doing an interactive music wall that all the clients can use. But it's gonna be an area that anyone with, if they get overly stimulated from lights or sound or too many people, you know, the crowds, they can go in and just manipulate this wall and um, hear calming sounds and stories and things like that and just kind of feel secure again. Love them. I, everybody there I like. Every <laughs> and single you, have person. You met and I haven't, I haven't met Sophia. You you haven't? No. -uh. What a what a lovely young lady. She she showed me and Sabina around the entire facility. Oh, that's so nice. I know. I, I know. can't wait to meet her. I can't wait to see the interactive wall. So we'll have more from Sabi's and this what do we call them? Pillows of love right here? Yeah, there there that's get that, order that. When we come back though, I'm gonna go to the mall, okay? Yes. All right. Well the Maybe. Eastwood Mall when we come back. One of America's top comedians, Grammy-nominated Bill Engvall, is bringing his farewell tour to the Robbins Theater on Saturday, October 15th. Two performances at 7 and 9. Get your tickets now at robinstheater.com or at the box office. Bill Engvall at the Robbins. Don't miss it. Papa Canzanetta's Peppers, recipe established in 1975. A family secret is now yours to share with the people who add spice to your life. Choose from mild and hot versions, plus our famous original blend too. They're the perfect punch for any dish. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we've got the recipes to prove it. Just follow us on Facebook, order online at papacans.com and pick your peck. Papacans.com, order six jars or more and qualify for free shipping. We like it hot, we're glad you do too. Welcome back.
back to Valley Spotlight, everybody. We're out here at Sabi's enjoying some great food just Route 7 and 14 and in Trumbull County. Have you heard of the Eastwood Mall? Of course you have, but have you seen the dresses for homecoming? Usually you'd think I'd be doing this, but Mike jumped at the chance to show off these wonderful ladies and these gorgeous gowns. Thanks, Lauren. We're taking the show out to the Eastwood Mall to Lavish, one of the unique stores here at the mall. And Kendra is here today, store manager. You've been in the business for how long now, Kendra? About 38 years. And your job is the store manager, and then you also go to different places to buy the inventory, correct? Right. I go to different markets, yes. Yeah. What was the last one you went? Um, I was in Chicago last Monday. Wow. And the week before, Atlanta. You're moving shaking, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Well, I thought we'd come here today uh, to talk about lavish. First, explain, since it's not in a lot of different areas, this is the only lavish that I know of. Right. Explain kind of the mission of the store. Um, lavish opened a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and we started with uh, mainly women's, and then we branched off into prom, mm -hmm. homecoming, mother of the bride, special occasion. And special occasions are coming up now. Yes. See, my, my kids are barely starting school, but people are already talking about yes. talking about homecoming, right? They're, yes, they've I been buying. I didn't realize. So people are getting their dresses now. Yes, they are. Is homecoming as big as prom? Yes, probably uh, At least pretty much the same, yes. How mm -hmm. about that? Okay, so let's talk about homecoming a little bit. Um, you have to, your job is to find the inventory and tell people what's in this year. You have to know all the trends and things of what the yes. kids are wearing, right? Yes. Okay. Um, a lot of trends this year are the feathers, mm -hmm. um, the satin, the detailing in the back, the front, different um, sequins. So. Dads will say that these are very short. They are short. Okay. They are, aren't they? It just they, seems they to be are. the style. Yeah. Yeah. They're not. Uh, we pulled Alexis aside. She's modeling yes. one of our dresses. Yes. Tell folks to describe what she's wearing. Okay. Alexis has on, this is um, a Sherry Hill. Mm -hmm design off the shoulder all satin uh -huh. we have it in three different colors it's beautiful she's wearing the ruby we also have the right next to you uh -huh. we have the oh, emerald. This green one right next to me we yeah, have emerald. the lagoon blue in the back uh -huh. um, and that's a very popular style when she turns around you will see the ruching in the back oh yeah fancy she has a beautiful necklace we uh -huh. also sell all the accessories, um, the bags, the bracelets, the earrings. She looks great. We also um, sell the shoes and Daisy is here every day to... Yeah. Um, she kind of guides the people, right? Guides all the girls in their dresses and she has excellent customer service. Is it the boy's job to match the girl or the girl's job to match the boy? We tell them let them match you, it's easier. I think that's right. Yeah. I think that's yeah. right. Okay, do you do that thing where if somebody purchases a dress here, then that's the only person at that school that's allowed to wear that dress? Yes, we do. We register every single school, mm -hmm. um, and every girl that comes in to purchase, we put it in the book. Even if it's the same dress, different color, we will not sell it to them. All right, very good. Now, okay. uh, Lavish is on Instagram if you want to check out the inventory. Yes. You can see some of the uh, the things on display at the Grand Resort downstairs by the spa. Yes. And then, uh, of course, you could come into the store as well. So let's yes. give them the hours here at the mall. Uh, Monday through Saturday, we're open 11 to 7. Mm -hmm. Saturday or Sunday, uh, 11 to 6. Easy to find. I went down yes. the J.C. Penney concourse. It's right across the hall yes. from the Riders. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Happy homecoming season. Yes. All yes. right, Lauren, back to you. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Kendra. And yes, Mike is right. The guy is supposed to match the girl. I think that continues for years to come. All right, a few years ago, Mark Canzanetta and I had the chance to get the little ones ready for school when it comes to packing lunches and making sure that that meal prep is a little less stressful on moms just like me.
have all the fun when it comes I don't think so. to all of this fun that is happening when it comes to back to school for our children. Mark, thank you for taking oh, it so seriously. my pleasure, you know, because we're all going through it together. I know. I and know. it's a little bit stressful. What are they going to eat when they're in the classroom? We want to make sure that it's good and healthy. And that we want to control as much as we can control. <laughs> That's the truth. We really do. We want to control our kids' nutrition as much as we can because we don't know exactly what's going into the school lunch programs, school breakfast programs in today's times, you know, with bulk food and economy food and things like that. So if we can control a few of their meals a day, that's better for them in the long run. Yes, it most certainly is. All right, what are we making today? So and we how have some chicken. It's going to be because it better be easy or I'm not going to It's easy. Do it. It's easy. A little bit of chopping. This is a good Sunday night. Maybe as adults, we have that glass of our favorite wine right. while we're doing all of this prep, like Julia Child and Jacques Pepin. Nothing so wrong with that. So we roasted some chickens. They're going to last us the whole week. You're going to make a wonderful chicken salad. Kids like chicken breast. We hid the chicken thighs in right. the pot pies. Mm -hmm. Chicken thighs and pot pies. That should be a t-shirt. All right, I like it. One so we're gonna make a great chicken salad. This is a take on Waldorf salad, the old famous Waldorf salad, but we're gonna try to pull back some of those calories by not adding the whipped cream into it. So we're gonna use yogurt, Okay. great probiotic, so go ahead and scoop all that in there. We're gonna add some mayonnaise. Now, if you don't wanna use mayonnaise and go straight yogurt, you can just keep it with straight yogurt. You can use low-fat yogurt, Greek yogurt, whatever you like, you can use fat-free mayonnaise. You can use olive oil mayonnaise. I just had mentioned that, and he said sometimes it turns a little green. green it, it has a little a green, green hue to it, that's it, fine. So go ahead and add all that beautiful picked chicken breast. So perfect. Isn't it? Nice, fresh, came from Lampo's Farms. Now we're gonna add some celery because, you know, kids need a little vegetables. <laughs> They most certainly do. The fiber is good. It is. It's great. This is nicely and fine. Celery, and celery, celery juice is one of the best things you can drink. You like pistachios. You like pecans. I like. Add both. a little bit of both. Okay. A okay. little bit of both. Or that... as much as you like. You know me. If I see these little things, I'm just going to go dump ahead. Dump it, it in. in. They're, in They're in there. there. They're in there. Go right. ahead. Put the pecans in there as well. You know, kids love apples. It's a great snack after school. So it gives them a lot of great energy. So let, add as many or as few apples as you want. I'm not going to put all of them in there. Okay, okay. This, is, this isn't the uh, lobster <laughs> rangoon segment. Go ahead and add some grapes. I have those Chives. grapes, whether you have black grapes, just make sure they're seedless grapes, okay? And just in, instead of using sugar, I love natural sweeteners, whether it's agave nectar or a little bit of natural honey. Put a little bit of natural honey in there. We're going to add a pinch of salt. And the great thing about this, instead of buying this at the local deli, we are controlling the sodium as well as the ingredients. So we're just going to put a pinch of salt. Okay, just another okay. pinch of salt. I'm gonna add some black pepper, just a little bit, because again, this is for the kids, and that is gonna be a great take on Waldorf salad. Gosh, While you're getting beautiful. that together, I'm gonna start the mac and cheese, okay? And so, who, what child I would like to meet them that doesn't like mac and cheese? They do, but Even they also need some likes. protein, so we're gonna add some chicken to that mac oh. and cheese. And as the kids get older, you can do some great things with the chicken. You can make a buffalo chicken, blue cheese, you can do a lot of things. So a little bit of olive oil, because olive oil raises that cooking temperature a little bit. We're gonna add some butter because we need a little bit of butter in our mac and cheese of course I like to use unsalted butter as a rule because all salted butter again we control the sodium so we're just gonna get that happy I'm gonna add a little bit of flour right now because what we're doing is we're making a roux a roux is a combination of fat and flour cooked together we want to cook out that flour so it's not pasty mm. until it almost smells a little bit nutty you want to constantly stir it I smell some nut. You smell some nut? Yeah. And now we're going to add, you can add milk, you can add half and half cream. I'm adding some half and half to give it some great body, some great richness. And then it's up to you what cheese you like. We have a lot of cheeses. We I have don't think Velveeta. I've ever met a cheese I didn't like. To me, mac and cheese has to have the Velveeta base. Because so we're going to add it, that Velveeta. It gives it that nice it does. creaminess. It I like really American does. cheese too. Yep. And then we can kick it up from there. I have a combination of sharp cheddar, aged cheddar. We can cook this up. You're going to stir that together until it melts together and gets happy. And once that's does, done, you have this great, what we call, this, cheese sauce. This is what this turns into? It is. It this is. This is beautiful. This okay. is very And we're going to add some pre-cooked al dente pasta. Pre-cooked al dente. Oh, so right. boiling salted water. You know, put the salt in there. You want to make sure the salt's in there. Uh, cook it to the, temp to the time on the thing on the package, add your chicken. We're gonna stir that up. Now, a great thing too is, if you wanted to make this, if you have some celiac disease in your family, mm -hmm. if you have that kind of situation going on, gluten. you can go with a great gluten-free pasta. There's a lot out there that you can choose from. And just don't add the flour. Let it reduce down a little bit more. Just add the cheese. That's it. That's it. That's it. So we're gonna stir that together. Okay. You're gonna put it in your casserole, which is right in front of you. Right. Which is right in front of you, yeah. Warren. He's making this very easy <laughs> on me. 
Because you know the casserole. whole year is going to be stressing me out. And the great out. thing about this is, if you want to make one of these or three of these, you can put them in your cooler, in your freezer, pull them out, and use them at a different time. 375 degrees, you know, sometimes kids like you know, a little bit of Ritz cracker crust on top with a little bit of butter. Sometimes they don't like that. My kids just like it plain. So we don't do the Ritz cracker thing anymore. We just do it plain for them. Bake it 375 until it gets happy. When we come back, we're gonna make some wraps. We're gonna make some naan. We're gonna finish up some chicken noodle soup and we're gonna make some lunch box, some surprise snack boxes for after school. I, that's the part. It's like when uh, you've gone through the entire day of their school day and they get home and you're not ready for dinner, and they're they're hungry. They're hungry. They're starving. Even if they've had breakfast, even if they had, had lunch, lunch two hours ago, they're, they're hungry. coming home because their brains are on fire. They have all this information. They don't know where they're going in school. So they're hungry, they're anxious. Let's make them happy after school. Mm -hmm. Let's get them a snack and prepare them for dinner. But let's make sure that snack is nice and healthy. And not and an Oreo cookie? Exactly, Mama, exactly. Can exactly. I have an Oreo cookie? Can I have a cookie? Can I have an Oreo cookie? No, Sabina. You can have some mac and cheese and some this amazing salad. Yeah, exactly. That so, even any adult would be lucky to have. This I, I know. It's a great salad. You can that. eat that on its own. Put some lettuce or toss it with some lettuce. Um, you can put it into a wrap, which we're going to do. And we're going to see. You can put it on top of naan. You can put it on a bagel. You can put it any way you want. People are going to put it. What, what, this, exactly. They're going to love it, too. Okay. Exactly. So, Stay with us because this is going to be like it's great stuff. Be amazing. Yeah. How's this going? Well, we're, we're getting happy. <laughs> Who's just going to say it isn't happy yet? I love Emerald Lagasse. No. That was his famous line. It's always going to be Emerald's line. It's, we're just going to make it get happy. Can I just take that one to go? You can take that one to go. Okay, we'll be right back. We have such a legacy, created such a legacy here in the Valley, and we're very well respected by numerous manufacturers in the industry. Uh, we're a leader in our industry, and I, I want to continue that, we want to continue that, and we want to take it to the next level. Whatever that level may be, we're ready for it. So let yourself go to Duca, let yourself go. Shop Hills in the Liberty, Lincoln Dolls, and Boardman Plaza, Youngstown, and the Ridgeview Plaza in Warren, and the Hills location in Champion, all open 10 till 10 daily. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. I'm constantly asked by news sources how to best navigate today's real estate market. I call the brightest agents in the business to get their input. Hi Kelly, what's going on in the Mahoney Valley area? Hi Barbara, the market in the Mahoney Valley has remained strong. I'm so happy to hear that. Sellers are enjoying the safety of the Guaranteed Sold program, and buyers and sellers love the 3D tour and the free moving truck. Get the best advice from my friend Kelly Warren. Go to kellysoldit.com. Be safe and smart. Welcome back. Hey there. Caught me in between bites here at Stoppies <laughs> in Columbiana. I didn't do mine yet. Open Monday through Saturday, by the way. They had some great lunch specials Monday through Friday, and um, they're open for lunch all six days, and it is really good. I, I wouldn't tell you if it's not good, but it is really, really good. Holy moly. So, all right, you okay. hooked up with Kelly, right? We did. We went to a distressed home in mm -hmm. Austin Town that is not going to be distressed for very long. Mm hmm Well, this week on Home Advantage with Kelly Warren, Kelly's here, Hi. and we're standing in front of this property out here just off of Kirk Road in Austin Town, and at first glance, you might be thinking, why are they there? <laughs> it's a little rough around the edges. What is going on <laughs> with this estate? And that's a, good, that's a good question. I'm sure everybody right. that's driving by, every neighbor is sort of asking the same thing. But when you see people making improvements like mm -hmm. this on a property like this, it's got to be good news for everybody around. Yeah, uh, the neighbors love it when a distressed house starts to turn mm -hmm. and, you know, you see the dumpster pull up in the driveway and you know good things are going to start happening. <laughs> yeah, the dumpster <laughs> is in the driveway and this is an active construction yes. site. And the people that own this property, they have gone through quite a bit over the past six months and sometimes it can take yep. a while, right? Yep, I, it's always a project. Sometimes you get into a project thinking, that you've got to do A, B, and C, and then as you do something, you uncover a couple more things. And then all but... of a sudden, you're at the end of the alphabet, and you're like, 
Okay. <laughs> the great thing about real estate is there is money to be made. It's, it's a nice way to invest, you know, in the community and to provide nice housing for people, um, but also to make a profit and, and to make the area a better place. Sometimes if you can find a really good deal, and by a really good deal, I'm talking like anything under $50,000. Oh yeah, right now in this market, if you can find something under 50, regardless of the amount of work that needs to be done, you can usually find profit in there. So yes, this one was just right underneath that and the people that are doing all of this this work, you know, to be able to say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put a new roof on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to do the new siding. I'm really gonna have to like do, yep. everything can be, I would imagine very scary. It would be scary to me, but the end of that there is light at the end there, of the tunnel. Yeah, there's always an end to the project. Yeah, and I've seen people invest in projects that take a couple of weeks to turn around and a couple of months pushing a year to turn around. And it's just, you know, are you doing the work yourself? Are you hiring it? Are you doing it as an evening and weekend project? Is it something that you've got a quick timeline turnaround? So depending on the project and how you get it done and moral yeah. of the story, don't be afraid of the work. Yeah, yeah. And don't be afraid of the scary. Right because next next time you join us, we're gonna go inside and you're gonna be like, that cannot possibly be the same house. <laughs> okay, so there's always exciting things coming, Kelly. Give everybody the uh, call or text number because you guys answer. They can find us online at kellysoldit.com or you can call or text 330-717-2689. I can't wait to see this thing done. Okay. All right, can we stick with this? We can, Okay, yeah. very good, very good. Nice job, you guys. Don't be afraid of the ones that look a little scary, Michael. I know, but I always I know. like I like the ones that are done. I don't <laughs> yes. want any of the hassle and the construction Just crews have the, have and the, the whole vision. thing. But there are people that do it themselves and they love yes. to do that sort of thing, so God bless you. Have at it, right? Yes, no kidding. All, All right. right. Well, uh, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. we uh, showcased the Warren Library, and it is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's cathedral. Then you add some disco <laughs> into it, and I don't know how, you can't, it's like a win-win for everyone right. in the whole world. Here's a segment that just wrote itself. <laughs> well, we're here to uh, celebrate the, the re-grand opening of the Warren Public Library. Oh my gosh, it's, it's worth the wait. Yes, it is. I love it. I love it. I think we're all really happy with today's turnout. This morning it was just awesome. We had so many people show up and it's really exciting to see people in this space that we've been prepping for a really long time. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. We, we have been waiting for so long to have people back in here and just look around. There's people everywhere and we couldn't be happier. Um, we had a bubble show just a little while ago for the kids, and there was at least 140 people in there. And we are just tickled pink to have people back in here and helping people and finding things. We're just bursting. It's just awesome. This is a breathtaking um, new improvement in our city, and it's going to enhance the education for uh, our young people and our seniors and everyone in the middle as well. So we're very excited about the, this grand opening today. This is actually my second time being here. I had to go get out of my suit and come back and enjoy it a little more. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's really a, a generational change um, in our, and improvement in our city. Oh, we love it. We're so happy that it's open and I have three kids here with me. Two of them are in the teen section and she's here exploring and all the activities today are so nice. I mean, I've been coming here my whole life, and this is beautiful. It's, they really did a great job. This is um, Elephant and Peggy. They are characters from a very popular beginning reader series by Mo Willems. Um, they have lots of books. The kids just absolutely adore the characters. They, they're just so much fun. <laughs> because as much as I love the library, it was so, it was getting so dingy and dark, and to see it so bright and happy and colorful and just airness of newness uh, it just really makes me feel proud about this new space so we got two study rooms and then what you see behind me are the three meeting rooms they can accommodate up to 15 people and um, you can go online and reserve them and now you can have food and drink with a deposit um, 
Yeah, you can go online and reserve it, or you can come up to the reference desk or call in. It is such a wonderful chance to see a new community kind of refreshed with a building just like this. I love seeing people getting access to the wonderful services the library provides. It's been fantastic. Everybody's having a great time and is in a good mood and is happy to see the beautiful new library expansion. It's been a long time coming, great anticipation. The energy the, you feel with the people, it is just uh, amazing. The people are having a good time, I'm having a good time. All right. I saw some folks shaking their groove thing. I did. I did. Remember she when you were supposed to be quiet in the library? Not anymore. Remember those days? <laughs> and they, shh, you do hear that a lot? I don't like the library a lot more these now days. Now it's a dance club in there. <laughs> All right, you want to take a break and yeah. eat some more because my parade is gone and I tried I a bite know. of this. That's too far for me. I would like to try that okay. during this commercial break. Okay, that sounds good. All we'll right. make the switch now. Be right back. Salt Me is a company that produces products that are made out of Himalayan sea salt. I have a love affair with Himalayan sea salt. And as an ear, nose, and throat doctor, the most important thing for me is that the products are gonna be effective and that they're gonna be safe for patients. So I make products that help sinus conditions and I make products that are going to be good for the skin and good for the body. And all of them are made of Himalayan sea salt. switch. <laughs> it's, it's good. I don't know what the sauce is. I, I forget what Sebastian said, but it's legit. Isn't it like a blue cheese something? Something. Like something creamy and delicious. Oh, so great. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of great food. Right, especially for the kids. Mm -hmm. When they're getting ready to do lunch, you don't have to just do a regular sandwich, especially if you buy those individual little boxes on like Amazon. Mark makes it so much easier on even people like you and me. Okay, okay? let's take a look back. Goodness, Mark, you make this look way, way. I don't know easier. if I make it easy. I'm a little bit organized. You are very organized, and you have a lot of like just great insight when it comes to making things that people are going to eat and presenting it in a way that is appropriate for the people that now we're I trying have some to help. get it I'm to I'm not going to lie. This is kid tested, kid approved. Right. Because we talked to the kids last night. My wife Melissa, Adriana, and Bentley. What do you guys like after school? What would be easy for you? You know, we did a yogurt parfait in the last segment. We're going to do some snacks boxes for after school because they're always hungry they're always hungry or snack boxes that you could yeah. send them or as soup. a lunch so soup you know I made that great chicken noodle soup and again I pour I put the soup the noodles on the bottom you pour the soup over the top you put this in the refrigerator for the kids they come home they mic it they put it into a bowl they have soup in two minutes right you and Michael made this just a few weeks we, ago we made it a few weeks ago and, and this the is idea great is for to winter make these things last to make them last all week and this soup will have a shelf life in your refrigerator as long as you have a good temperature in your refrigerator. Uh, if you're noticing things are going bad on you, make sure you get it calibrated okay. because you don't want to put your kids in, in bad health. No, we all right? don't. So also what we want to do is we have this, we have the yogurts, we're going to make some snack boxes for after school or they can take these to school. And look at how perfect these boxes are. Yeah, you can are. get these, I'm going to be honest with you, our, our favorite online retailer has these. Amazon. Amazon. Okay. <laughs> so we got these on Amazon. You, there, there's no BPAs in these. You can use them over and over again. And it's compartmentalized. So as you can see, we have a, we have peanut good. butter in the cup. This could be peanut butter. This could be almond butter, cashew butter, because a great source of protein for the kids. A piece of fruit, whether it's a great plum or an apple or a peach or a banana, half a banana. And then, Lauren, I'm going to let you build because we've got some other protein, some other veggies, because again, we need our kids to eat veggies. Yes, we most certainly do. Okay. I'm going to start with Sabina's favorite, which are the cucumbers. The same with Bentley and Adriana. Right? They love they, the cucumbers. She, they love them, and I can't help it. Like, she, they... So, maybe the ones that don't have the peanut butter will put a hard-boiled egg, and if they want to put some salt on it, they can put some salt on it themselves. 
You know what I'm inter like I find it very interesting that Sabina has no problem eating a hard boiled egg. So what do what do the what do the kids like to dip their veggies into? Because when I was growing up, my mom we didn't have ranch dressing nope, as available. We did not. So those celery sticks went right into peanut, peanut butter. butter every so, single time. You know I don't know if kids still are down with that in these times, but maybe they are. But we need to get them to eat more vegetables. That's why I snuck the kale in on this chicken noodle soup it's because amazing. they need that kale. It's got a great source of antioxidants. But we got to be in you know same way in the last segment with Mike. We stuck those chicken thighs in the pot pie. So you see how easy that is? We do this all Sunday night. You know, we had the chickens, we prepped for the chickens, we prepped these Sunday night, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you might have to reboot on Thursday and Friday, but you're all set for the week. The kids come home, you know what? Mom, I need a snack. Go to the icebox, go to the refrigerator. They're all in there for you. Did I just say icebox? Yes, When's the last did. time somebody said icebox? <laughs> Welcome to 2019, Mark. We call it the refrigerator. The ice box. More on old school culinary <laughs> talk when we come back in a few minutes. I'm going to put this cheese in here. How does that sound? That sounds good. You're great. super cheesy. I know. I know. I'm old school. What can I say? My father would be proud right now. <laughs> put the cheese down. From New York City, the greatest 1960s musical recreation show on earth. This is is the 60s show the 60s show the greatest 1960s musical recreation concert ever is coming to the robbins theater on friday november 4th be sure to get your tickets now at the box office or at robbinstheater.com the 60s show at the robbins don't miss it We've weathered our way through 75 winters. Let our service and sales staff help you weather the next storm with peace of mind and the right equipment. Before you know it, the snow will fly. Do yourself a favor and get to do cut before the inventory of our Toro snowblowers blow away. The Toro Power Max for that heavy duty job. The extra edge makes the job easy. And the Toro Power Clear model is simple and quick to use when Mother Nature just won't quit. We've got units starting at just 529. RC Compounding specializes in preparing affordable and natural hormone replacement therapy just for you. I have suggested this to so many women because they don't want to take hormones. They can't afford the hormones. I'm living proof. I'm going to be 73 years old and I haven't felt better. When you come in here, you will not get better service. RC Compounding, we care about your health. Hey, we're back. And look at this. Wow, what a lot of work. A ton of work. Not really, though. Not oh, really. Okay. If you, you, know, you spend a Sunday evening, you know, the kids are getting ready for school. You're getting your stuff done at home. You and your husband can meal prep for the week. And then Monday through Friday, you kind of cruise through the week because you've done all this wonderful prep and all the food is done, all based off of those two. You, I was like, you and chickens. Michael started just a few a few weeks ago, yeah. a few segments ago for us on two chickens. Two, two chickens, chickens so we has got, turned into all of this. All of this. Four meals off of the two chickens easily, uh, maybe even five with a luncheon meal, but we got those great grab-and-go chicken noodles soups that you can put in the refrigerator, take them to your office for yourself, not just your kids, but those are grab and go. You can freeze those, pull them out, so you can make a ton of these and put them in your freezer, pull them out as you need them. And you never know when those sore throats are uh, going to I know. You know great I mean? lunch, great after school lunch boxes, you know, getting off the school bus hungry, got your protein, your fruits, your vegetables, your power peanut something. butters in there, your cheese. I even made that chicken Waldorf salad, I turned it into a burrito. You can put this for your kid to take to school or you can take it to work yourself. You mean you turned it into a burrito? I turned it into a burrito. This rat. guy? The Just Oaxaca guy? The turns, Oaxaca king? I can't even... I, what? So we got that wonderful chicken pot pie where we hid those chicken thighs. Chicken and mac and I, cheese. Can I just hold, can you hold on for one second? This chicken pot pie. I'm not a pot pie fan. I'm not. I'm why? Really not. Because, because you're used to Marie Callender's out exactly of the freezer. Why. And they're and loaded with sodium and too much pie crust. I tried this and out 
standing. Could you That's please That's because it's do made this? with, yes. We're going to do, okay. Okay, and then we've got that great again chicken noodle soup, those chickens. And Here's the, the salad. Right? Why don't you taste right. the salad? Taste the mac and cheese. Can I, can I make a wrap? You can make a wrap, so you're going to make a wrap. We're going to teach this you old clean, school. by the way. I don't know. You know, my case is probably going to be jealous again because this is almost like a burrito, but we're going to call it a wrap. So fill it up with a couple scoops of that salad. Okay. You can do it a couple of different ways. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be folding this. You're going to be folding it, and I can do one too. Hand me that back. So we'll do it two different ways because we'll do it the Chi Chi's way and we'll do it the Mark Canzanetta New Age way. Okay? So ample so scoop of that beautiful it, I Waldorf need to do it salad. The Chi Chi's way? Is that what you're doing? Uh, you, I'm not. You can do it the Chi Chi's way. So okay. you're going to take this and fold it over and pull it back. Okay. Pull okay. It over, now pull you're going to take your wings and fold them into the, the middle. Okay. A little bit more into more? the middle. Into the middle. So that you're there like All right, that. So it's like okay? a little pocket. Then I'm going to squeeze up and make a pocket. And then pull up and wrap and go forward. Basically like comes to the same thing. All right. So after we've done all this meal prep for our kids, I think we deserve to have a glass of wine, <laughs> go to bed knowing that our week is going to be that much easier. Our kids are going to be taken care of. Great healthy meal alternatives for them. We control the salt. We control the, the chickens. We control all the ingredients. Lots of fruits, vegetables, antioxidants, probiotics, the whole nine yards for our kids to have a healthy first week of school going forward through the school year. I don't think you could have checked any more boxes <laughs> off that list of parents that we want. Uh, like, wow, Mark, just unbelievable well, stuff. Thank you. And cheers to you. Um, cheers and to you. Cheers to, and here's all to our, of our kids, kids having a great school year. God bless them and everything else that goes along with this right. school year. Be the start in kindergarten. Oh. Believe that? That's you know. He used to feed me when I was so sick when she when I was pregnant. With I know. Her. I oh know. My and what, what chicken broth right? makes everybody feel good. And that's the truth. That is. And now you can have it no matter when it hits. It's yep. ready to go. Yep. So. Thank if you, you take a few hours on Sunday night, you're going to save yourself a lot of aggravation and grief throughout the week. Keep it going. Beastro 1907 and Oaxaca is coming your way. So, yep. Mark, thank you. And, and more in the test kitchen. Yeah, We've got some great things coming up. Unbelievable stuff. Cheers. Cheers. See how easy lunch can be? Yeah, I know. Now they just have to eat it. You right. can't stand over them, but you want to, and make sure they're eating all the stuff you paid for and made for them. All the things I tell Sabina not to forget in the morning. I, at least I hope she eats. Let's right. Just Please eat. I don't have time. Anyway. They're because they're talking. I know. They're yapping. Uh, speaking of talking and listening, mm -hmm. what, this is a wonderful story about a lady that moved back into town. To help her own mom, mm -hmm. and then eventually she's helping everybody else's moms and dads, too, <laughs> to right. make sure that they stay safe and that they can hear us. Right, so listen in, this will be a good story. It's one of the largest aging populations in the state of Ohio. That's Youngstown, great food, low cost of living, and older people. In fact, an older person is why Karen Katsaris moved back home from Florida. The plan was to come home, help my mom out, and open this practice with my son. And she did. The Boardman Canfield Hearing Center opened in March of this year and focuses on the Valley's senior population. There's such a need here, and Karen thought she needed to help. I love my seniors, and they don't get taken care of, and Medicare's not paying for hearing aids for them. They're all on Social Security, which means they're on a limited budget, and they needed help. So she helps providing hearing exams, and providing a perfect fit for a device that isn't very popular at first. It's the one thing that no one wants. It's the one thing that they can't live without once they start wearing it. Why are hearing aids so important? Well, most people don't know that a loss of hearing is a direct line to dementia, or just as serious to seniors, a really bad fall. They don't know that it's actually one of the major reasons why seniors fall. If you have a hearing loss, moderate to severe hearing loss, that is not treated, you are more likely to fall. The part of the brain that the ears transmits to helps with balance. If I look confused, it's because I am. I know, I'll show you, no worries. Everyone thinks as you get older that it's normal to lose your hearing. Well, it's not just your age, it's all of the things that we've done to our bodies all along the way, right? So we shoot guns, we work in factories, we take ototoxic medicines, which is painkillers, sleep aids, antidepressants, 
high doses of ibuprofen, those are all considered to be ototoxic drugs and they damage the nerve endings inside your inner ears. Getting a hearing aid is one thing, but getting the right one makes all the difference. Everyone's different, and the companies that make the devices are different too. The major manufacturers have their own sort of niche, right? So one of them does one thing better, the others do another thing better. Some of the hearing aids are more compatible with iPhones, some of them are more compatible with any Android. Yes, the hearing aids of today are set up to work and control through your phone. And if you're technology challenged like me or some of the older generation, Karen will set it up for you and make sure it's working correctly. The service in the aftercare is just as important as getting the hearing aid themselves. Initially, I see a patient once a week for the first month, and then after that, I see them once every three months. Once a year, we retest their hearing, and the hearing aids can be readjusted to whatever their new loss is. Let's be honest. We all know people that need this kind of help, and we spend big life events and holidays with them. They just sit there and smile, and they nod, they have no idea what anyone is saying. They can't communicate with people. They become very withdrawn. There's many side effects to having a hearing loss. One of them is you withdraw from social situations. Just a simple little device that can change the patient's life and get them back to the way they used to be. Their eyes light up. It's, it's, it's the most amazing thing in the world. They live in such a quiet world. It's quality of life, right? We all want quality of life. Helen Keller said, your eyes connect you to things, connects you to my white coat, but your ears connect you to the people that you love. And that's really what it's about. When you put a hearing aid in, in a person like that's ears for the very first time, you can just see the light in their eyes. Like, oh my gosh. I can finally hear. And it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. All right, the Borman Canfield Hearing Center is located in the, uh, the plaza behind Stonebridge. And here's my hearing test. And this was after she scooped a big thing of wax out of my ear. Is that where your problem's been lately? <laughs> So everything so. above this line right here is good? It's good, yeah, and all my readings were there. There's one little part where I have a frequency that maybe I'm not so great at, but Karen says I'm just fine. Everything's fine. Must be Lauren's voice. <laughs> Might be my mom's. Is there an LL? <laughs> I'll read out. You and me, were the same one, can hear, I can hear that a lot. <laughs> I hear it a lot. Good job, Michael. Thank you. So okay. I just wanted to show you that. All right, well, what's next? We are going to take a quick break, and okay. Mike and I are going to continue to eat out here at Sabi's. We encourage you to come pay them a visit because wowie. Yeah. All right, more when we come back. More when we come back. The food's so good, I can't even think. <laughs> RC Compounding specializes in preparing affordable and natural hormone replacement therapy just for you. I was spinning my wheels before. I didn't know what was wrong, and now I feel um, I have a, a sounder mind. You know, I can sleep better. You know, when your hormones are off, your whole body is off, your mind is off. So I feel a lot better. I feel like I can do anything. Um. See, compounding, we care about your health. Whether it's dinner out with friends and family or your next catered event, Rachel's Restaurant in Austintown always makes it special and delicious. Award-winning cuisine, relaxing atmosphere, and so much more. Rachel's Restaurant, Austintown. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. Only A to Z.com. Alright, well from Columbiana. Uh-huh. All the way Let's to go Hubbard, north. Yeah. okay, there is a new cigar place called Cigaro. Okay. And the story behind it, not only is the place gorgeous, but we always like a little homecoming. Don't, don't you like a little homecoming? It's true. All right. Let's take a peek. As you enter Cigaro Cigar Lounge, located on Main Street in Hubbard, Ohio, you can see the main focus is on creating a destination dedicated to cigars and it took a decade of dedication to make it all a reality. Steve DiGennaro and his business partner, Jamie Garayua, knew they had to pick the right location first and foremost. And where there's smoke, there's fire when it comes to success. So we, we've been cigar friends 
for at least a decade. And for most of that decade, we've been talking about the possibility that maybe at some point in our life we'd like to own a cigar store. And we talked about it and kind of formulated a plan, started looking for an actual location probably eight or 10 years ago, and soft looking, you know, we didn't spend a lot of time on it, and um, uh, looking for just the right place. And Hubbard kind of landed at our feet. Um, the Nate at the winery next door uh, is the one that invited us to the community, uh, brought us and showed us around, looked at the neighborhood, had an opportunity to spend an evening at the winery and see his, his customers and the, get the vibe for what the neighborhood is like. We kind of feel like this area is almost like an entertainment district. And uh, you know, seeing it on a weekend evening in the summer, especially in the summer, because he's got some outdoor space here and decided that Hubbard might be a good location and we came and looked at a couple places on the main street here and this place became available and it was a no-brainer because it's right next to Nate. Located right next to the Woodland Cellars Winery, Cigarro fits right into a community where small businesses continue to thrive by reinventing the old into something new. It was always our intention to buy an old place. You know, we, we like old furniture, we like old fixtures, we like old houses, we like the idea of restoring and repurposing and architectural salvage and all that kind of stuff. So we never looked for a new building, you know, we were always looking for a place that we were going to be able to restore. Um, and this, this place was a, really exactly what we were looking for. It needed, um, needed a lot of cosmetic work, it was in good shape, it had really good bones. It had been updated over the years and a lot of the, the things that they did to update it, we had to undo. To, um, to create the space that you see here. The first floor is an open retail space that allows guests to enjoy cigars that come from all over the world. And the most important spot is the humidor. So the first thing we did when we started to restore the building because we, we wanted to run the humidor for a, a period of time before we actually put cigars in it, um, we built a humidor. And we built it out of Spanish cedar, which is the, the wood that you're that that's, works best with um, any kind of tobacco, really, but especially cigars. So we built the room out of Spanish cedar, and we built it with plumbing and heat so that it could be self-sufficient. If the power goes out, if the water line breaks, we have a, a way to continue to run the humidor. And we ran it for about three or four months before we ever put a cigar in it to make sure that it held the temperature and that it held the humidity. So the first floor is open to everyone to enjoy. Sit and relax, enjoy a cup of coffee. But the second floor is just for members and they are treated to an experience that rises above. Upstairs is a membership area. So if you become a member here, um, you can go upstairs. You can do BYOB upstairs. We aren't allowed to have alcohol down here on the, on the first floor, but members are allowed to bring their own bottle and have a cocktail with their cigar. Um, also upstairs we have a, a TV room, a large TV room, so people can come in and watch the football game or come in and watch the baseball game or come in and watch an old movie. Um, typically, just like we like Rat Pack music down here, um, we usually have old movies from the 1930s or 1940s on the big TV and members are more than welcome to change the channel if they want to watch something else but we kind of default to those old movies because we think it fits the decor and it fits the mood and the you know the the vibe that we're looking for here and for Steve the vibe has been one that has brought him back in time to the town where he grew up the place where the past and future are layers that wrap together to make the perfect cigar experience. It's fantastic to be back. It's like I never left. And, and I really, I moved away in, um, can I say the year? I, I moved away in 1984 when I got married. I lived here until I got married. Um, in 1984 I got married and I've never lived here. My parents continued to live here for about 20 years after after I left and flew the roost. and. Uh, they stayed here. Um, I have a lot of friends from high school that are still here that I've maintained friendships with over the years. Um, but it's really good to be back. I've actually reconnected with a lot of people that, um, that I went to school with, a lot of people that I was childhood friends with. How about that? Steve left Hubbard 
And then he came back to Hubbard and he's like living the dream. You know what it's like to open your own yeah, place, your own of. business? You guys are living the dream too and letting living us the live along with you. If you like Poland, they've got you covered. He's the country and she's the city, the township. It's very good. I right. came okay, from Poland to Poland. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Funny. What's the chance of that? Do you ever, do your friends and family like that? My that's dad like just the yeah, my <laughs> last year was in Poland. So. That's, that's amazing. Awesome. We're going to bring you to Poland at some point to visit. Uh -huh. And then take the picture. Yeah. Oh, like Poland on top of Poland on top of Poland. I love it. I love it. And we. Are you ready for dessert? Yes. Are, you took a bite of this Is there a already. taller cake or is this as tall as Actually, they come? Actually, no. There is a taller cake. We have a strawberry Wait, shortcake come on, cheesecake. Really? Yes, there really is. Strawberry <laughs> strawberry Who strawberry makes cheesecake. the cakes? He makes all of the desserts. Are you he makes kidding? everything from scratch. What, what's this one called? Must have have ho cake. Ho ho cake. Yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Now we're all gonna have dessert, but you have to have French onion soup. Oh, I'm trying it now. Yes, right now. <laughs> and I don't care if it's been sitting here for the full hour. You have it to try off, it. It's cold because then it won't like. Yeah, it's always enough. really hot. Yeah. It's always really hot. So. Sebastian, while she eats, tell them about yeah. tell them about Friday yeah. nights, yeah. Um, Friday yeah. night after football season or during football season. It starts at 9:30 p.m. We're doing a $10 special: pizza, sandwiches, the hot chick, uh, burgers. For ten bucks. For ten bucks. Wow. After the football games, so stuff in. Everybody will enjoy and then some. I think that's yeah. the beauty of the menu is like it's like something that you've heard of, but then it's like wow factor. It's got a little twist to it, doesn't it? All right. Are you not going to eat this whole? I had the back. No, I oh, had some of the back. back. It's okay. it's fantastic. I didn't All right, see that. While she eats that, let's mm -hmm. give them the hours again. Open Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday at mm -hmm. 11 a.m. Um, weekdays we close at 9:30. Weekends, obviously, with our Friday nights, we're closing a little later, trying mm -hmm. to stay open until about 10:30, 11. Okay. Um, bars always open later, so you can stop in for a drink as well. Yeah, and then the lunch specials during the week. Lunch Monday through Friday, we have a $10 lunch special as well. You get a sandwich or a salad with one of our soups, our French onion or whatever other soup we have that day. Um, you also make the homemade soup every day. We call it yesterday's soup. Um, and that is $10, 11 to 2, Monday through Friday. And how can they, you, is there a website or a Facebook page right that you now, want people to go to? We're just on Facebook and Instagram. We're working on a website. All um, right. But we post a ton of pictures on our Facebook and Instagram if you want to give us a follow. Reservations advised? Recommended. Yeah. Yeah. Recommended. Especially on the weekends, we are getting quite busy, especially during the main dinner hours yeah. um, from 4 o'clock to about 8 o'clock. We're pretty much booked. So, all for reservations. As yeah. you should be. And a big thank you to Steel Light International mm -hmm. for allowing us to showcase these restaurants and these, you know, small businesses and these families. Um, that do so much to put great food on the table time and time again. We cannot do this without you guys. So, you know, thank, thank you. you so much. And thank you guys for having us thank out you. here. Yeah, thanks thank you so much. Thank really you. Nice really nice. Really nice. And, and my you. parents are over there, and my husband and Ron, and Sabina's in school Can't come right on now. Sunday. But when we said we were coming, my mom's like, you you got, you got, have to go and do it. We have to go and try this place. And, and she couldn't have been more right. So, thank you. Well, thank very, you so very much. Nice. Thank, thank you. you. Thank and you. tell Lily, the waitress, Sabina said hello. Okay. And the nicest people. I, she missed the birthday party. She, she, she uh, we did not invite her to the birthday okay. party, even though my daughter really wanted to invite her. <laughs> so um, we do have a fabulous staff here. All of yes, our you waitresses are great. Spot on. At the end of our show, we do a commercial from like the 70s called it's the called Retro Commercial. <laughs> and uh, when I was a kid, they would always have these ones for albums you could buy with different artists on it. It would be like, k presents Sounds of the 70s or whatever. So You're here's so the k good at that. album uh, just to wrap things up on this Valley Spotlight. So. Thank you for joining us. ValleySpotlight.com. Follow us on all the social medias. You know, we'll pop up somewhere. Original hits, original stars create high energy. k -Town's fantastic new album, Headlining Blondie. Gloria Gaynor, Captain and Tennille, and Foreigner. Super Sticks. Pablo Cruz, Gino Vanelli, and the Pointer Sisters. Orleans. High energy, an incredible new album from k -Town. Available at Kmart. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.